Hi, this is George from PSCAD Support. Today I'm going to discuss some of the new exciting features in PSCAD 4.6 that's going to help you with batch control. I'm going to use an illustrative example where I'm going to control 100 breakers and run the project 100 times. Here you can see that I have 100 breakers labeled B1 all the way to B100. You can also see that I have 100 signals labeled B1 to B100 here. These signals control the 100 breakers. You can see here that the current I1 through I4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. This corresponds to the breaker status, which is 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's work backwards here to understand what this example is doing. This four breaker values here are coming from this array of data. Let's go inside breaker control to see what's happening. Here you can see that the array of data for breakers group 1 to 10 are being outputted by this table. For testing purposes I have tapped off the array and I'm measuring each breaker signal. Let's have a look at breaker signals 1 through 4 that I'm measuring. Take a look at its values 1, 0, 1, 1. Now let's go inside this table. You can see that I've created a table with dimensions 10 by 11. The first column of data being the X data. The Y data represents the breaker values. Note the first four values, 1, 0, 1, 1, coming out of this table. That corresponds to 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 1, 1. If we step out, you can see that those values come out here as 1, 0, 1, 1 and subsequently affect the breakers and give its current states as open, closed, open, open. Now that we understand how the data is flowing, let's see how we're controlling this. Let's have a closer look at the table. The Y columns here, labeled Y1 through Y10, represent 10 breaker values. The rows, rows 1 through 10, represent 10 scenarios. So for the first scenario, these are the breaker values for the first scenario. For the second scenario, these are the breaker values. What's special about this particular XY table is that I can specify a number, an index number, as the input to this table. And depending on the index number, the output will change. Let's have a look at how we're doing this. Here I have my project volley 1 to 10 which basically controls 100 breakers 
and runs it through a hundred scenario, uh, ten scenarios. I've taken this project and I've added it to a simulation set. Once I've added it to a simulation set, I can right click and go to set options. You can see the name of the set here. And you can also change the simulation options here. What's interesting is that you can see that I've set the volley count to 10. What this means is that this project will run 10 simultaneous simulations. Each simulation will have its own index or rank number. If you see here, this is a new component called the rank component. It will output the current index of the current run. So to summarize, this project is going to be run 10 times simultaneously. Each time it's run, the rank number will be indexed accordingly. So for the first run, the rank number will be 1. For the second run, the rank number will be 2. As the 10 simulations run simultaneously and the rank numbers for each one are indexed 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10, you can see that the different sets of data will be coming out of this table component. So if the rank number is 1, this set will come out. If the rank number is 2, this set of data will come out. Now this table is a 10 by 10 table, so I'm controlling 10 breakers and running it through 10 scenarios. By adding more tables here, 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 and so on, I can control another group of 10 breakers and another group of 10 breakers. In total, I have 10 tables. Those 10 tables output their values to these, those 100 tables, sorry, output their values to these 100 signals, which control these 100 breakers. So just to summarize, the largest table I can have here is a 10 by 10 table. So I can only control 10 breakers and run them to 10 simulations. To control more breakers, I merely add tables. The limitation here is the number of runs that I can put this through because the table size is only 10 by 10. So this project can control 100 breakers and run it through 10 scenarios. But what if we wanted to run it through 100 scenarios? Well, the answer is simple. I just create more projects and have them do exactly the same thing. The difference in these projects is that I will change the table values. Once this is set up, we are able to run 100 scenarios of this project and control 100 different breakers each time. Once it's set up, we simply run all sets. You can see all 10 running here, and you can see all 10 running here. So they're running 10 at a time and changing the breaker val 100 breaker values each time.
Once the simulation is done, you can simply go here and go show in folder. And you can go to its output folder. And here you can see all the data being produced for each run. Thank you for watching.